everybody, how are you all today? I hope you're all well. Well, I have just purchased my first Jane Natalie Mayhew book and I'm very excited. And due to popular requests, I have been asked to do a review video on it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for you today. So this book is called Cross Stitch Jungle. Now I've made a list of notes to do this book because there is so much in here and so much stuff that I'm not used to seeing in a lot of these types of cross stitch books. So this book was first published in 2008 and it features the best known animals, reptiles, birds and insects from the rainforest from Asia to the Amazon. So there's a wide variety of charts in here. Um, some of them are full coverage, others are not. Uh, some are full cross stitch only, others have fractional stitches. Uh, one has some metallics, one has beading. There are 20 designs in the book and the charts are all in full colour, which is fantastic. The full colour has symbols as well as the just plain coloured blocks, which I'm not a real big fan of. I prefer to have the colour with a symbol inside it, but I'm sure it will be easy to figure out anyway. The charts also don't have any overlap lines in them. And for the bigger charts where it requires um, a chart on each page, so for example, a chart that might go over four pages of the book, the colour key is featured on both sets of pages, which is really handy. So there's no flicking back and forwards to check what the colour key is. And I really like that idea. Um, also in this book, um, the fabric that is used has been noted as well as the DMC code for the fabric and I hadn't seen that before so I really like that idea. And Jane has also included how many skeins are needed to finish each project. So she will actually state if there's just one skein needed per colour or if in particular certain colours need two skeins. And I thought that was a really good idea as well. So we'll go through each one step by step and we'll have a look. So the first section is called Jungle Inspirations. And here she shows ideas on how to incorporate smaller parts of the chart into projects for your home. So you can take sections of the larger charts and make up designs for use in other areas. So you'll see on this page we have a frog plant stick. And you can also, this is actually just choosing um, there's a full coverage frog design further on in the book and she's just chosen one of the frogs here and put it onto a plant stick. So you can do it with any of the frog designs and she suggests here that you can also do this with the butterflies as well. And then we have the tiger stripe cushions, which is really lovely. It's a nice way to personalise cushions or pillowcases. Again, that's taken from... Another picture there. That's taken from... The larger design in the book. Oh, and I have to show this little guy, the little baby orangutan. He's taken from the larger chart in the book and she's decided just to stitch the baby up in a frame. How cute is he? Absolutely adorable. Then on the next page we have butterfly napkins. Again, these are taken from a larger chart in the book and she's just chosen a couple of the butterflies and stitched them on napkins. They'd also be nice as cards as well. And there's the little baby orangutan that I mentioned. And then we have some jungle cameos. Again, same idea, taken from the larger chart. So with the frogs, you could stitch them into little stuffed toys or cards. Uh, the squirrel monkey, there's a little cameo picture there of him. Again, taken from a bigger picture. The peacock could be turned into a bookmark or a card. 
and the macaw there. Again, a cameo picture, or you could just shorten it like she's done here. Let's turn it into a card. So I, th I think they're great ideas. Sometimes you see a, a design, I don't want to stitch that entire thing. So it just gives you an idea of how to change it up a little bit. Okay, so we'll start with the big designs. First one is a tiger, and the chart is called Tooth and Claw. Nice, snarling, angry tiger there that she stitched on black Ada. And she also um, suggests that a sage green or a khaki, or khaki, depending where you're from, um, would also be really nice for that piece. Now, there's no back stitching in this design, and it's all whole cross stitches only. So it's a really easy design to stitch. Trying not to get the glare. Like my um, previous review that I did, I'm going to have a montage of photos at the end of this review so that you can see all the designs um, in all their glory without any glare. Next we have the Hyacinth Macaw. Beautiful bluebirds. This is called Heavenly Blues. And there are 11 different shades of blue used in this design to achieve the richness of colour and depth of tone. Now in this design we have full crosses and fractional, French knots for the eye, eyes, there are two birds, and back stitching around the eyes only. So not too difficult. Very pretty. I like that there's two of them as well, almost like fluff birds on the branch. Next we have the squirrel monkeys and this is called Sweet and Nimble and how cute are they? I love these cheeky little monkeys. Whenever I go to the zoo I have to stop by the monkey cage and I could watch these little guys for hours. They're so adorable. It's the way they grab things with their tails. Very cute. Okay, this design has fractional stitching and back stitching around the eyes and French knots for the eyes. So most of the designs in this book have a French knot for the eye detail just to give it that little sparkle, which is a really nice touch. The next one is an iguana. And although I'm not a fan of lizards and um, snakes and things like this, I really love this design because it is so lifelike and it just would look stunning stitched up. This is called Prehistoric Link. Isn't that beautiful? Look how real that looks. Okay, so this one has fractional stitches and a lot of back stitching to achieve the the scaled look. So a lot of back stitching for the scales and also in the head. And a French knot for the eye. And there's three back stitch colours in that particular design. The, and the um, back stitching is colour coded on the chart so that makes it much easier to follow. Just gorgeous. Love that. Okay, next we have the elephant. Jessie Marie, I know you're doing, you've already started Jane's elephant. So this is another um, elephant design of hers you may not have seen. This is called Gentle Working Giants. It shows the elephants in their working environment. Again, very lifelike. This one has fractional stitches, but no back stitching. And no French knots in this one. It's just lovely. And then we have tree frogs. And this one is called Forest Gems. Look at that. How colourful is that? This is a full coverage design with fractional stitches and back stitching for the eyes and the mouth. And French knots for the eyes as well. 
So, as she mentioned in the front of the book, you could take out many of those individual frogs and stitch them up on cards or cushions or, or anything really. There are 24 frogs in this picture. So for a frog lover, that would be heaven. It's very bright, very busy. <laughs> Okay, then we have the ocelot, which Pearl Stitches, I believe, is very keen to start stitching this one. She showed this in her video. I love that. Beautiful. This is called Nocturnal Perfection. And this one is whole cross stitches only and no back stitching. So again, another very, very easy design. And then we have the toucan. It's rather lovely as well. Fractional stitches for this one and back stitching around the eyes and also the ants. Can you see the little ants on the branch there? <laughs> I didn't see them until I read the chart and it mentioned the ants. And while I'm flicking through, one thing I didn't mention that it, on each page, it actually gives some information of each of the animals, um, which I really like because you can learn more about what you're stitching. Then we have the tapir. This is called the Sweetest Babies. And obviously they are baby tapir. This one is whole cross stitches only and no back stitching. It's another easy one. And here's one of my favourites, the orangutan, called Devoted Mother. This one has fractionals and back stitching around the eyes and the mouth and also on the stem of the leaf. So just that one stem there. So not too much back stitching. And fringe knots for the eyes as well. Very lifelike, gorgeous design. And this one might be interesting for Letitia, the crafty curator. Now she mentioned um, she has a rhinoceros design of Jane Netley Mayhews in her, her other book that she's got, the Safari book. Um, this one, I don't know if it's a black rhino. I'm not familiar with rhinos, I must admit, and I don't know what the difference is between them. This one is called Armour Plated Survivor. It's quite a nice design. Not one of my favourites. But... This one is whole cross stitching, whole cross stitches only and no back stitching. It's a nice quick one to stitch up. And it's not quite full coverage, it does look it, but this area here is is the fabric so it's not a full coverage design then we have bird of paradise and this is called winged angels that's rather nice and that's a full coverage design with whole cross stitches only and a french knot for the eye but no back stitching at all Next we have the boa, all curled up on his tree there. Now I must say, when I look at this in the book, the design doesn't look very appealing to me because of the person that has stitched it, the coverage to me isn't the best. There is a lot of white fabric showing through where the black stitching is. So and I'm not sure how it's coming out on camera, but when I look at it in the book, it just looks, it's just too much white showing. So it sort of lets it down a little bit, I feel. Anyway, this one is called Life Beauty. 
and it has fractional stitches but no back stitching and a French knot for the eye. So if you like snakes, which I do not, um, I can honestly say that one will not be stitched by me <laughs> or hanging in my house. <laughs> Next we have the Jaguar. Jaguar in the beautiful water having a swim beautiful love these cats this is called dappled beauty and it's a full coverage design with whole cross stitches only and no back stitching that is gorgeous the designs are just so lifelike aren't they i think so anyway Next we have the butterflies, and this one is called Jewels of the Air. Full coverage design featuring 23 butterflies. Has fractionals, back stitching in four different colours around the eyes and the butterfly details, so their wings and their antenna, and a French knot for the antenna as well. So again, you could pick out individual designs, stitch them on a pillow or in a card, even on a bookmark, lots of different ways you could complete that design. And we all like butterflies, don't we? Now this one, I have to say, I think this is my favourite in the whole book. I saw this and I was like, oh, that's beautiful. And I have already stitched up two macaws before. And I've never seen a macaw, so I don't know. I think I like them because of the colours, the, the just the brightness of their of their feathers, absolutely stunning. Anyway, this is just a headshot of the scarlet macaw. Look at that. Can you see that? Okay. To me, that is absolutely stunning. This is called Master of Mimicry. And it has fractional stitching and back stitching around the eye. Just beautiful. I can see myself stitching that one for sure. Next is a chameleon called Champion of Camouflage. This one has fractional stitching, back stitching in three different colours for the eyes and the mouth. So again, if you like these sort of animals, it's a nice one to stitch. Then we have the sloth, and this is called Life in Slow Motion. Now, exactly what I said about the boa design, I feel the same for this one as well. It's a lot of white fabric showing through from behind. When I look at the video images I'm videoing, it all looks fine. looks so much better than, than what I can see here. But that's just me being fussy. Some people don't mind seeing the fabric at the back. I, I just, I don't. This one has fractional stitching, a French knot for the eye, and is a full coverage design. Very cute, hanging there from the branch. Okay, then we have the gorgeous peacock called Proud and Perfect. I really like this one too. I like how it has the oval frame and then the peacock is hanging out of the frame. It's very dramatic. So this one has a fair bit. Okay, it has fractional stitching, it has back stitching in two colours, and the back stitching is down here, the tail feathers and also the head feathers up the top. And this one also includes four different colours of DMC light effects that's been used throughout the feathers just to give it that added sparkle and, and detail. So I think this one stitched up would look really special. I think I said four light effects colours. There's actually five. 
and there's also French knot is in, uh, French knot in the eye as well. So it's that's lovely. Okay, so you know Jane hasn't forgotten the the people that live in the the jungle in the rainforests as well. So. Um, this one is called, this one's the Amazonian tribesman and it's called Dancing Forest Spirit. It's really nice. This one has beading. It's a fraction, it has a lot of fractional stitching and back stitching around the face. And the beading is in the armbands, the earrings, the pendant and the necklace. And you don't have to put the beads in if you don't want to because the chart is DMC coded. So if you just want to stitch it in DMC, you can. But if you want that little bit of dramatic effect, then you can add the beads. And I think it would look really lovely. Okay, so that's it. At the back section of the book is called the workbox with tips and techniques things that you need to know, how to complete the stitches as well, how to add the beads, and then making up instructions, how to make those cushions shown in the beginning and some tips on mounting and framing. And that is the rear of the book. And this is a hardback book. I'm not sure if it comes in paperback as well. Fantastic book. Love this. Highly recommend it if you like stitching animals, especially jungle animals. Uh, there's something in, pretty much something in here for everyone, I think. And I like the idea of being able to take smaller designs from the larger ones to create other smaller features. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. Please stay tuned for the montage and I will see you with another review again very soon. Bye for now.